What's up guys, Gabe here. Welcome back to another video. This time, we're gonna talk a little bit about Lightroom editing again. This video in particular is gonna focus a little bit on this one trick that I do to help you make your photos look even better. Now this is a simple trick and you can do this with any editing software that you have if you have this one feature. You can do it in Lightroom, Photoshop, or any other uh, software that you may have as long as you have this one feature. Now, let's jump right into Lightroom so that I can show you what that looks like. All right, so we're here in Lightroom and this is the image that I chose to show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, here's something that's very common that happens to images when you manipulate colors, specifically when you manipulate colors that tend to fall within the shadows. In this case, we're talking about the blues. Now, this is how the image looks after it's been edited. And you can see here that some of the cast of the blue that we manipulated from, from the outside is landing into the inside of this balcony right here. And it's casting all this blue color. And this tends to happen very frequently with images when you're dealing with, um, when you're manipulating colors that are like in the sky or something like this. And then you have some shadows as well in the image. It tends to happen, it's very common now. There's a way that we can fix this and there's a way that we can make this look better so that your shadows look like shadows and not like blue casts, okay? And this is a very simple tool, a very simple thing to do as well. You just go over here to your brush, you bring that opacity down, you bring that saturation down to about minus 80, I found that it's the best. And what you're gonna do is you just start desaturating all those blues. You go in here very carefully, and start desaturating all those blues out of the shadows and as you can see now this area right here starts looking again like the balcony as it should now once you're done with that your image should look something like this which as you can see we've removed all of that blue cast that we saw before and now we have a clean image the same thing could be done with this image right here. If we go and we start developing this image after we process it, we see that because we manipulated the blues and the water, it also landed within the shadows over here. Now to fix that, same trick again, we put that saturation to about minus 80 and we start painting in those shadows to take down that color and make them look like shadows again. Now I'm doing this very quickly for you guys so that you get the idea of what it should look like and what you can do with your images as well. But if you have the time, do take the time to make this look perfect. You have to go in there and spend some time with it just to make it look uh, right. And when you're done, you should get something that looks like this. Now, if we go to the before, this is just with the preset installed. It looks like you have some blue cast here. As soon as you fix that, boom, it looks like a shadow again. And I think that this looks way better than with the blue cast. It also works for images such as this one. We started out with an image that looked like this. We applied a preset and edits and it looks like this. And as you can see, there's some blue cast on this road that should be black or gray. So we apply the same technique that we did with that same brush and we get an image that looks like this, which now you have the right color of the street and it's a little bit more defined and it gives you a little bit more contrast in your image. Now, here's where the image began and this is where the image ended up using that same technique. And that is it guys, that is a very quick way that you can help make your images look better, specifically if you're using presets and if you're manipulating colors left and right, making the blues a lot more teal or making them any other color that you want, and specifically on images that you see some type of color cast coming into areas of the image where you don't want them to. You just take this brush, you kind of desaturate the part that you don't want, and it kind of makes it look a little bit more leveled, a little bit more toned down, and more true to life. It only takes a few seconds, maybe a few minutes per image, and I guarantee you that when you're done, your pictures are gonna look a lot better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what else you wanna see in future videos. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys on the next video.